little challenge there for anyone who's under 30 to do this. I'm going to set you a challenge. This is the challenge that used to get set to apprentices back in the day. I've not seen it done for a while, so I'm going to try and bring it back. And it involves conduit bending, which is indeed a dying art. Let me show you the challenge. That, you crazy kids, is a conduit bender. You're going to need one of those. That there is a 4.7 metre length of conduit. 4.375 bit length conduit, you're gonna need one of those and you're gonna need some of them. They're called stocks and dies. If you've never seen them, you need to get some practice in before you take the challenge. But I know a few people, Beth got me onto this because I saw her showing off her conduit skills, yeah. I'm gonna show you back in the day how we used to challenge the apprentices. Now I appreciate the conduit's expensive nowadays, but just have a bash, yeah. First of all, when I started, I worked with a guy called Harry Parra, who was a complete bastard, but a lovely bloke. And first of all, you get to make bits like this, yeah, and he'd say 80 to back a bend, which that is, I just bent that, yeah? And then, once you've done your 90s, you move on to your sets and stuff like that. When you've done sufficient sets and you've got confident enough with measuring, you would take the challenge. That means you are a proper sparky who can do conduit. And the proper sparky challenge is to make a sledge out of a 3.75 metre length of conduit. And on one end of that bit of conduit, before you even start you tap a runner. If you don't know what a runner is, you're not suitable for this challenge yet. Go and find out. You tap your runner on the end of your 3.75 length of conduit, then you get your bender out. And after that, you never need your stocks and dies again. And I'll show you what you have to produce. This, you crazy kids, is a sledge. Now you can see how it's formed, yeah? It's got two 90s here, then two 180s, then two 90s. And that's what you've got to produce. Now it doesn't sound that hard, but the fact is that you see this part here where they meet, they must meet the ends of the conduit as supplied. So that big, long, straight length of conduits over there, they just come together and they get threaded on a runner. And you end up with that, which is called a sledge, because it looks like a sledge. Then you sometimes strap a bit of wood to the top of it and use it as a sledge. You know if it's snowing anymore, which it doesn't, yeah? But that's the sledge challenge, is to produce one of those without cutting the conduit with a hacksaw... Just tap your runner on and bend it, and I'll give you a few little pointers. That's your bender, yeah? It bends down. It doesn't just bend down. Also, when you are bending this shape, you have to be aware of what bend you're putting in in what order. So you usually work from the centre point of the conduit, which ends up being this lower level here. But if you put those bends in, you might not fit it in the bender. I assure you, it is possible to make this shape in a bender by bending it in the bender on your own without lifting it off the floor or moving it or adjusting it in any way, it's possible to make a sledge. So, yeah, good luck with that. If anyone manages it, let me know. Obviously, you can't treat because you end up with a sledge. And if any old school sparks fancy them to go, feel free. But, yeah, that's the quiz. That's the challenge. Open all year. Anyone that makes a sledge, that's when you know you're a top conduit bender. Enjoy.